So for me as a filmmaker, a husband and a dad, the topic of finding work-life balance has always been a sensitive topic. I always seem to wonder what it must feel like to find success both in your career and in your family life because one always seemed to interfere with another one. And for me, I think recently I'm starting to find my own kind of balance, which I want to share with you in this video. In today's fast-paced world, finding this perfect work-life balance seems like a, a very elusive goal. We find ourselves constantly juggling between our personal responsibilities, our workloads, commitments, and also trying to take care of our own well-being. So instead of achieving balance within a single day, how about we explore the concept of balance through a lens of seasons. So just as nature has different seasons throughout the year, we can apply that same concept to our own lives and divide our time into seasons of high intensity and rest. During the season of high intensity, we fully immerse ourselves into our work or projects that require our focused attention. This is the time when we dedicate ourselves to accomplishing our, our tasks and our goals and pushing boundaries and making significant progress. It's during this season when we may need to put in some extra hours, take on challenging tasks and overall just go that extra mile to achieve our desired goals and outcomes. That may be making a feature film, making a portfolio spec commercials, whatever you may set as a goal. So for me it's usually anywhere between a month and three months where I try and quit all my vices, I leave alcohol, much less caffeine, uh, there's much less hobbies, there's way less social meetings and if so those are usually work related ones the idea behind it is that if you can't sacrifice most of these things if you can't just identify one or two things that are important to you then everything becomes important and then you cannot focus and you cannot achieve any results in any of these fields so you have to be able to identify what is of importance to you personally and then you have to work towards those one or two or three things. So for some of you the idea of not seeing your friends or going out to parties or having leisure activities may seem daunting but it's important to recognize that a normal human being can only tackle effectively tackle two or maybe at maximum three tasks every single day. Those tasks don't include things like sleeping, eating, walking, commuting, and things that are automated. So we're talking about the things that require your cognitive abilities, things like writing scripts, pitching, having calls, sales calls, having sales meetings, editing, filming. Those require a lot of focus and mental energy. That's why we can only push ourselves into these high intensity seasons for only one or two or three consecutive months. And I would really suggest going no less than a month because according to a lot of popular research it takes about 21 days to really get into your groove get into the rhythm and then you start being habituated to the same uh, repeating processes and then you start feeling the sense of accomplishment and a sense of uh, progress and that's then something that fuels you to keep going to continue the pursuit but it's important to remember that this phase doesn't last indefinitely and eventually you may find yourself in a situation where the same goals don't motivate you as much or you don't have as much energy and you feel kind of drained and feel that this phase is coming to an end. That's a sure sign that you now have to enter your next phase, the phase of rest. It's the time to recharge, rejuvenate, step away from our computers, and it's the time to not make films, not think about your next script, or actively think about your next script, or things that are work-related. I think this is the time where we should allow other sources to inspire us. Rest doesn't mean doing nothing either. I think it's the perfect time to engage into activities that bring us joy, things like 
our hobbies or spending quality time with our loved ones or maybe finally taking the time to go out on that vacation this is the time that allows us to reflect recover and then it prepares us to the next season of intensity to give you a little example in my case usually winter months like january and february are slow with commercial game the creative agencies are usually on holidays so video productions and film productions they don't have as much work and so we as directors are also having this slow months where we're not shooting we're not making commercials usually the brands are still trying to figure out their budgets for the new year and i have noticed that this is not exclusive to filmmaking it's also across many different industries it's all the same like winter is usually uh, the time where the work is slow so i think for myself by embracing this cyclical pattern of intensity and rest i found myself a really good rhythm that works for me and i am able to maximize my productivity during these high intensity months and i'm also able to nurture my relationships within my family um, I'm also able to maximize my own well-being, my mental health during the months of rest. And what's also interesting is that by depriving myself from social activities or my hobbies, I also miss it a lot so that when it comes time to the rest season, I am able to appreciate it a lot more. One note though, I think to implement this successfully, you have to communicate this to the people around you so that you are setting clear expectations and boundaries so that when you are in a certain period, the other period of your life does not interfere with the current one. This might involve coordinating deadlines and managing workloads and communicating your availability to the producers, the rep agents, your colleagues, really everybody else around you, your loved ones, so that everybody has clear expectations and knows exactly when your seasons start and end. So in my case, because I know that some things are cyclical in our industry, for example, I know that this January I'm going to be taking off. My colleagues already know that I'm not taking in any projects for the winter months. I'm going to be taking a few months away with my family, with my wife and daughter, just to, again, replenish and rejuvenate. So I think the key takeaway here is that finding work-life balance is not about building this perfect equilibrium within a single day and it's more about embracing these seasons of high intensity and rest. By embracing that we can achieve a more fulfillment and lead more sustainable lives at the end of the day. I think that leads to happiness, a long-term happiness. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a new format for this channel. If you did, please let me know in the comments and consider subscribing. Bye!